Hello and welcome to the very first training session on Excel. These training sessions that we're presenting here from humanresourcesexplained.com are specifically targeted at human resource practitioners. So if you're in human resources currently wanting to get in, take a look at these videos and, uh, and we'll take you through some Excel hints and tips that will be directly applicable to your situation in HR. The first one we're going to cover is the counter formula. Fantastically simple formula, incredibly useful in an HR environment. So as you can see from on screen here, we've got a, uh, a list of fictitious employees and their location. In this example, we're going to use this counter formula to do a quick count of the location so we know how many employees we have in each location. Firstly, we're going to get our list of locations. Just copy those and paste those. So on the data tab, along to advanced, filter in place, and we're going to check unique records only. And you can see there straight away that it's removed all the duplicates. And we're just going to copy those back across. Right, we've got our list and we're ready to do the counter formula. So head across the function key there, select counter, the range. Now the range here we're going to use, this is where we're going to ask Excel to look. And then the criteria. And so what we've said here is look in this range, D2 to D21, for Auckland, which is a, uh, a place in New Zealand, a city in New Zealand. And we're just going to make these absolute references. So what we do there is we put the dollar sign in there, in front of the column and row uh, references. What that's telling Excel is Wherever we click and drag this formula to, don't move off this range. Always check this range. And simply click OK. And we'll double left click there. And you can see that has counted up really quickly and easily the locations. We have four people working in Auckland. We have two in Darwin, two in Hastings. And let's we'll have a quick look at that absolute cell reference. Sorry about that. I ignore that um, that little icon that's coming up. That's a, another program. Um, you can see it's still on there. So while we've clicked and dragged it, and the the F reference has changed, it's always looking at the the same cell. So that's a, a really quick and easy formula. Really useful on human resources. We'll just have a quick look at training. So this is doing the same thing. I've already got my list of certificates up here. It's another example about the sort of data we have in human resources. Uh, we want to count in this example how many Cert 1s, Cert 2s and Cert 3s. So again, going through the same, same steps. Count if, the range, and put in those absolute cell references. and the criteria really really quick and easy and we've got small small data sets here just for the example but you can imagine how quick and easy this is to do when you've got a couple of hundred people or a couple of thousand or ten thousand it's uh, it's really easy to do so in this example we're going to use counter formula in a slightly different way we're going to in this that with this data set we're going to see how many people were paid $800 or more for their October wages. This is where we're going to have the formula. Count if again. No need to do the unique sort here because they're all, all different. We're not going to use a unique, unique cell reference here. We're not going to um, click and drag this formula. This is just a, a quick one we're going to do. 
And so we've asked Excel to count the number of times that someone has paid above or greater than 799. And uh, in this example, it's nine. So you can just bring up that formula again. It can be greater than, less than. So we're looking for you know how many people are paid above that figure. We could change this to uh, being a thousand. So how many people are paid above a thousand dollars? And in this example, it's seven. So you can see how that can be applied. For example, you might want to be might be looking at some sales data. So how many people exceeded their sales target by ten thousand dollars, or how many people got a salary increase of greater than three thousand dollars in that year? Really, really clever formula, and one that works very, very well with HR data. I use this um, at least weekly. This formula, so it's really, really handy. Thank you, and if you have time, please stop by the uh, the website.